Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make animations like this easily. Recently, I took on the task of creating a cartoon animation of a very serious topic mental wellness. And this was what I came up with. Professional burnout isn't just being tired or stressed, it's a state of chronic depletion. I see it in their body language. They've lost their connection to meaning and purpose. Exactly. Notice the physical symptoms. And the app I use is Animaker. I'll go into Google, type in Animaker, look for this, and you should have this landing page. After you log in, you should see a landing page like this. Now I'm going to show you the steps in creating the simple scene. From there, you should pretty much figure out all the building blocks needed to create a fuller production. On the left side, you could start with templates. You have got choice of cartoon, ads, promos, but I want to show you starting from scratch so you can learn the basics. I will go back to home, click start from scratch, I have a choice of cartoon or whiteboard. I'll stick with cartoon. Horizontal video, good for YouTubes. Square video, Instagram, vertical, all the YouTube shots. I will choose horizontal video. Here you have got a blank scene on the left side. You've got quite a few options. Let's start with a background. I choose a business setting with a white screen. I want to put a character in it. You can select all the default characters or you can create one. There are options that you can have when you do an upgrade, but for the free plan, you have a choice of a male or a female. Here, I choose a male. And what I'm doing is customizing something that looks like you. You can pick the frame that resembles you as much as possible. You can choose the various hairstyles, the face, the eyes, the nose, so on and so forth. Even the earrings, you get the point. Or I use a default. You have plenty of choices to choose from. Since mine is about mental wellness, I choose somebody from the healthcare profession. I pick this guy. I put him on the left side. What you can do is you can put words in his mouth. You put a lip sync. Here you can record your voice and it'll sync very nicely with his lips. You can upload a recorded voice or you can do text to speech. You can use ChatGPT to script your comic. You cut and paste inside here. You can choose different voices. I'll just leave it as a default and generate audio, add to the timeline, and there he is. Professional burnout isn't just being tired or stressed. It's a state of chronic depletion where someone experiences... Now, what happens if I want him to walk in this room for walking? I'll put him to the left side. Under actions, I select walking, and there he is. Now next, I would go to Action Plus, and here I want him to stop right here, so I add another action where he stops and he uses his hands to gesture. And that's where he stops here, and his hands will be gesturing. At this point, I want him to also have a little bit more serious look I could select this expression. It's very interesting. This gives us a lot of options for expression. And there you go. Two actions. And here in this timeline, I don't want him to walk too fast. This is one second. Maybe I want him to take maybe four seconds to walk there. And that should the trick. I put apply and let's roll. Professional burnout isn't just being tired or stressed. It's a state of chronic depletion where someone experiences emotional exhaustion. Very good. 
the female comes in on the other side. I pick this female. She's standing here. Again, I want to choose an expression for her and maybe one that is standing and thinking. She is looking at this side. I want to flip her so that she faces towards the man. I will click on Action Plus. Here's the trick. You look at this, you pick on this, which says flip and, and I apply. And there it is. Now, for her to speak the words, I will click on Lip Sync and I will have text to speech again. I will paste it here. It has auto chosen female. See it in their body language. They've lost their connection to meaning and purpose. Sounds good. I added to a town timeline. Now you see this timeline. Both of them will speak at the same time. I want her to speak after him. I will shift her dialogue all the way to the right side here. This is around the 10 second mark. And there we go. Let's play it. Cynicism and reduced effectiveness. I see it. Right. Now, this has abruptly stopped. Just take note that this is the background scene. We will want to shift it beyond dialogue. And it should work well. Cynicism and reduced effectiveness. I see it in their body language. They've lost their connection to meaning and purpose. Now, take note that after she was talking and when he stopped talking, he was still gesturing. Let's fix it. Now, when she starts talking around the nine and a half second mark, I want him to stop gesturing. I will click on him. I will go to edit action. I will add another one where he is just standing still. And there I will shift him to about the nine seconds where he will stop using his hands. Again, the expression, I want him to have a different or at least a more serious thing, and it should work pretty well now. Let's add text on top of it. How do I add the text? I will simply click text here. There are plenty of templates for you to choose from. Let me pick one here. I will shift it up. Changing the text is simple. I put here mental, and here I've got wellness. And even this should be animated. Very good. And while he talks, I want a frustrated person on the whiteboard. That means that I add another character into here. I will simply put character and she is the subject of discussion. She is pretty big. I shift her down. Again, I want her to be feel emotionally stressed, I would put a search for the expression frustrated. There it is. She is frustrated. I want another expression of her. I could put here, I'm stressed. There she is. This is the part where she is stressed. I could put her on the right side. And I add another one where I say annoyed here. I put her in the center. It all should play out quite nicely. Again, the timing, what I want to do is to space it out such that they don't all move too fast. Let me put it here and let it roll. It should work out quite well. Let's play. Professional burnout isn't just being tired or stressed. It's a state of chronic depletion where someone experiences emotional exhaustion cynicism, and reduced effectiveness. I see it in their body language. They've lost their connection to meaning and purpose. That's it. And our animation cartoon is done. There is just one more step. That is to publish it. You will click on publish and select the resolution. If you're on a paid version, you get higher resolution. And then you can download it as an MP4. Take note that the free version, you've got a limited number of downloads. If you find that the tool is good, then perhaps subscribe for that project. Then thereafter, you can decide if you want to continue the subscription or not.
And what is a video without captions? Next step, adding captions. Now for the captions. I go to one of my favorite apps, CapCut. I go to Google. I will search for CapCut and it should be with this symbol. I click on Magic Tools here. I select AI Captions. And once you are in, all you have to do is drag and drop the downloaded file from AnyMaker. AI takes over and voila, you select one of the caption style you like. Now, this is in the wrong aspect ratio. I want it 16 by 9. What do I do? I click on Edit More. It puts it into this timeline. I will click on here to change the aspect ratio. There it is. I play it. All the captions should be very well synced. Take note that the caption I've chosen is pros. It's a paid feature. There are other captions that are free that you can pick from. Now, if you see this is too big, reduce the size and put it here. It should look pretty good now. I'm tired or stressed. It's a state of chronic depletion where someone experiences emotional exhaustion. There you go. A production done within minutes. Well, AnyMaker also has AI features. You can check it out by clicking this button. You can select the templates, for example, information training. And here you can just simply prompt your idea. You can try one of these samples. KMS Stores is providing loss prevention and security training. You can try it out. You generate the video. Fill out more details. Here in this sample, they've already pre-filled for you. For example, what is the main topic? What are the four learning objectives? You click proceed to create. Based on all the information you have added in, AI takes over, writes a script, puts the animation together, chooses the graphics, and you have got ready to go presentation. Loss prevention and security training for employees at KMS stores. Welcome to our loss prevention and security training. By the end of this training, you will recognize suspicious behaviors. Here are the critical strategies to protect our store. Surveillance techniques help monitor and deter theft. And you can do edits by clicking on Advanced Edit. Here it's similar to what we went through. You've got the character. You can go scene by scene, make changes to the text, and do other necessary edits like change the colors, so on and so forth. There you have it. AI featured animation production. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like and subscribe button so that we can grow and learn together. Leave a comment. Are there any other good apps that you have seen? Love to hear from you. Meanwhile, check out my other videos where I give you a lot of tips and tricks. Till the next time, take care. AI on.